Hello and welcome to another edition of the South County Spotlight. I'm your host, Jonathan Boshin, and this is a special edition. On the day of December 10th, 2023, the town of Deerfield celebrated its 350th anniversary with a special event honoring the historic churches of the town. The event was hosted by the Friends of Deerfield and was one of the last for the town's year-long celebration. It allowed the community to visit and learn about the past, present, and future of these important institutions which have played an important role in the community. Four churches participated in the open houses, consisting of the First Church of Deerfield, located in historic Deerfield, and the three churches of South Deerfield, Holy Family Roman Catholic Church, Descent of the Holy Spirit Ukrainian Catholic Church, and Holy Name of Jesus Polish National Catholic Church. The First Church of Deerfield was established as the Congregational Church of Deerfield and the present brick building was built in 1824. Today, the church has gained the nickname the Brick Church and is one of historic Deerfield's main landmarks. On the date of the open house, visitors were invited to visit the church, meet the pastor who is today Pastor Lisa B. Knapp, and also admire its colonial revival architecture. And, of course, enjoy an array of delicious goodies prepared by the parishioners for visitors. Down in South Deerfield, the open house festivities continued with the three other churches. One of the most ornate and architecturally beautiful churches located within Deerfield is the Holy Family Roman Catholic Church. Visitors had the opportunity to meet Father David Affiero, who shared the church's history and the building's visually impressive display of artwork, statues, stained glass windows, and architecture. One particular feature that captured the attention of many was a beautiful mural located in the center of the ceiling. This church itself was originally organized in 1908 as St. Stanislaus Roman Catholic Church. The building that visitors had the pleasure of visiting was built around 1912. The name was changed from St. Stanislaus to Holy Family in 2009. Before visiting the next two churches, lunch and a reception was provided to attendees at Holy Family's Pope John Paul II Center Parish Hall and consisted of sandwiches and an assortment of cookies prepared by Kathleen Tomas Catering. Across the street, the open house continued at the descent of the Holy Spirit Ukrainian Catholic Church. Here, visitors had the pleasure of meeting Father Kripp, who shared the history of this church as well as its present-day mission. This church was established and constructed in 1920 by Ukrainian immigrants in the Deerfield community, who invested their hard-earned money into building a Catholic church that could serve their community. Originally, the church was named Descent of the Holy Ghost, and today, while the name of the church has changed, its mission is not, as it continues to serve many in the Deerfield community. The final open house of the day was at the Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church. Here, visitors had the pleasure of meeting Father Robert Kerber and learning about the history, the building, and, of course, the church's present-day mission. Just like the Ukrainian church, Holy Name of Jesus was also founded and constructed by immigrants. In 1929, the church was founded by Polish immigrants, and in 1930, through money that was donated by the immigrants, the present-day church was constructed and opened. The altar, statues, stations of the cross, and stained glass windows are all the original from 1930. And today, just like Father Kerber's Masses, continue to enlighten all. Our final spotlight for this special issue is a concert that also took place on December 10th 
featuring the Franklin County Community Chorus. This community chorus, which is under the direction of Paul Calcary, enlightens many around Franklin County, including our four South County towns. Since the message of peace is one that is promoted by the historic churches of Deerfield, it's only appropriate that we end this special edition of the South County Spotlight with this beautiful performance of Light a Candle. Beginning with one voice and building to many, Andy Beck's beautiful song, Light a Candle, uses a candle as a symbol of peace and enduring tradition. For while the candle glow, we celebrate the season, so all the world will know the special reason. Please welcome our soloists, Lindsay Paulson and Eric Shippey for the stirring Light a Candle. Thank mm -hmm. you. 